found something else to make pretty again. It's a Model T jack for a Model T. I just looked it up about 1925. This tool is in my basement. So I basically already just got it out of the blaster. I forgot to film it. This was a bugger. I had to heat that up and then because it's actually riveted together. Ah, I don't know what you want to call it. When you when they assemble it, I'll show you. Comes out the bottom. And I got that primed. Can't find the colors though online. I've been looking and looking and looking. So anyways, this comes apart like this. That's how it's manufactured. You can see where this thing was turned, the center. And then they warmed it up and smashed her down. You can see how that's mushroomed. So once they got it installed there, they put this, the saddle for under the axle. And then they must have had a machine to peen that over. So I just warmed it up with the torch and used the the gear and made it retract into it and actually pressed itself right off. So I'll get her back on there. So that's the next little thing I'm going to do. Made by W.E. Pratt, Chicago. And you can see here too, somebody had broke it and repaired it. They did a really nice job. So, and as old Henry Ford said, I know what color this is going to be because he could say, he would say, you can have every, any, let me start over. I know what color that's going to be because Henry Ford would say, you can have any color as long as it's black. So, I'm going to get to painting that thing and cleaning it up and putting it back together. I'll show you when I get back. There it is, all put back together. Very simple. Flip this dog. I just put a little lube on there. Yeah, see. Now if you got a Model T you want to lift up and change the wheel, you got a jack for it. I think it's pretty cool. I actually held it in my, my it was in my house and held up my one of my walls for a long time down in the stone foundation. Get the excess lube off of there. Pretty cool. Starting to get a collection of stuff here. I wonder what its rating is. Have to find out. Got a little cubby hole. Let's see if I'm wide open. Yeah. Making a little space to do some YouTubing and watching YouTubing, and it's right next to my workbench. Oh, it's in the process. For 25 years, I've had sh just my stuff spewed everywhere, from one grain, the granary to the to my what they call a man cave, or what they call my place, where I do hand woodworking and drawing and painting and stuff. What I'm trying to do is take a corner to shop here. And, clean it up and make it mine because it's warm in here and in the summer I got central air call it old call it whatever but then when the guys are working I'm accountable I'm right here so if they need things I'm just gonna do like Les Nesman on WKRP in Cincinnati I'm gonna draw a white line on the floor and then you gotta come and pretend to knock and anyways I'm gonna show you what I'm up to today um, as usual I got a mess of stuff going on but years ago, 
Years ago, my friends, believe it or not, I worked in a salvage yard. I don't remember. I think that's where I caught it. I don't know. It's a cast iron, beautiful cast iron sign off of a, a crane. It would have been the emblem on a crane. And so I just got it out of the blast cabinet. And I'm going to... I like to restore these old things. So I just got done blasting it. I had to change grit because it wouldn't take the the paint off. It was so thick. So I had to put more aggressive stuff in there. But this is what I'm up to. I got to get online. I'm just going to prime it because you got to prime it right away. And uh, I'm going to get online and I'm going to try to find the original colors from this company and get this badge back to original. It'd be cool. I got some other stuff that I got to do too. And that's why for all those years I wanted to, oh, here, I'll show you. I found this in my basement of this old house. It's a railroad lantern. It's a Brakeman's Lantern. I looked it up last night. It's a standard 39, it says on there. I'm going to put the glass back in to blast that one. And here's the globe, and it's in good shape. CM in St. Paul. I'm going to guess it's... I don't know what the CM is. I really don't know. CM and St. Paul R. St. Paul Rail, I'm guessing. It looks like a little while. Why? I gotta get it all washed up. But it's been hanging in my basement since I moved here 12 years ago. And I finally decided, hey, I'm gonna grab that. I got a blast cabinet, and I'm gonna see what I could do with it. So made by Deets, Deets, Deets. They still make lanterns today. I'll look for a base where it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna try to get that restored. I got a lot of little projects like that. So bear with me and see where we go from here. All right. Well, there's that one so far. That old badge off an old crane. All I could find online was uh, a watch fob to get the color, and it was like a deep burgundy with the. And I just use an antique white. That's the way it's going to be for me for now. I don't care. That's just. I got a first coat on the letters. So I'm going to do another one right now, the old Model T Jack. I'm going to try to do these W.E. Pratt, Chicago. See if I can daintily do those. Pretty small, but it turned out pretty cool. The nearest I can find with this one is that they were in Bay City, Michigan, Lower Michigan, and they sold out to, I think it said Manitowoc Crane. So, but they made, started out making shovels, the shovels with the bottom hoppers dropped out on way, way back. So, it's pretty cool.